you know, every year as the holiday comes around, um, people start asking, um, you know, the very simple questions, um, the very basic questions um, that need to be answered in order for us to begin to you know, enjoy on this holiday. And um, everything surrounds around the light. Um, unlike any other holiday, actually, the, the, the lights themselves, they are the mitzvah. Um, so, you know, we really um, have everything centering around the kindling of the Hanukkah light. And um, one of the things that is often thrown at me from, um, you know, seemingly left field, the strange questions from, you know, a, a lot of people's minds is, uh, um, you know, how do you light? And um, it seems almost self-explanatory. And I, I literally have. I've been going around all week asking people, you know, if I set a bunch of candles in front of you, and I told you we light a certain amount of candles for that specific day that corresponds to what day we are in the festival, and there's an extra light um, called the shamash, um, you know, we need to light. Which one are you going to light with? And, and, and without exception, every person naturally said the shamash. And, and um, you know, to the great surprise of a lot of people, is, um, it is often rumored out there that one of the unique things about the Safari tradition, the Mizrahi tradition, the, um, um, you know, the tradition of, um, of Middle Eastern Jews, of, of um, the Near East, is um, to light the shamash last, and, and um, that really strikes a lot of people. You know, they, they they just don't know what to do because um the mechanics are all messed up. What are we going to do now? And um so you know this year I decided that we're going to delve into the text on on on, on how we're going to do this. Um, but you know really you know the the, the simple answer in having to explain. Um, you know, how this could be so, and it is in fact true, by the way. Um, the, the, the reason that um, it is in fact true is because um, we're not talking about lighting with candles. We're talking about lighting with oil lamps, with oil lanterns. And, um, you know, explicitly, the only thing that is true all across the board for all of our posting when it comes to the halacha, of why we have a shamash light is so that we do not use the lights for ordinary purposes. Um, so that we, you know, we do not do things even such as learning Torah or counting money and, and, and stuff like that. Um, so you know, we have an extra shamash light. Um, so you know, it's this part of the custom that um, we light last the shamash. Um, we don't light first and light everything, the rest of it. And it's not even really possible for us to do if we're, you know, using oil lanterns. Um, so, um, you know, that's really the, 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 the trick, you know, answer to that one. We use any other type of implement, be it a match or an extra candle. And what we will do is we will light the number of candles that we have corresponding to that day. And then we will light the shamash light which is held a little bit higher uh, than the rest of the lights. I don't want to spoil the whole message and everything, and um, I really want um, us to look at the text itself so we can understand um, you know, what the rabbis are talking about. We're going to be looking at both you know, um, Ashkenazi and Sephardi um, takes of the halacha related to the Shamash light. And um, I hope everybody enjoys it. And um, once again, I hope you're enjoying the holidays. Hanukkah Sameach.